This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework, AP Physics, Homework 4.3, question number 7. This one really involves a picture. A mechanic jacks up a car to an angle of 5 degrees with the horizontal in order to change the front tires. The car is 4.22 meters long and has a mass of 1036 kilogram. Its center of mass is located 0.99 meters from the front end. This is telling you that the, the mass of the car is not evenly distributed as we've been assuming up until now. But it tells me right where the mass of car is centered and it's located that far from the front end. The rear wheels are 0.28 meters from the back end. Calculate the torque exerted by the car around the back wheels. So now we've got a car that's up on two wheels. Actually, it's supported by the back wheels, and it's up on the front wheels. So here is my car. I know that the back wheels are 0.28 meters from the back end, so I've got the back end of the car there as well. And I'm just going to draw the car like this. So let's see, I've got 5 degrees. That's going to be my theta around the back, around everything. It's going to be 5 degrees is this angle. So that's 5 degrees. The car is 4.22 meters long, so this is overall 4.22 meters from one end to the other. Um, the mass is 1036 kilograms. I should write that down. It says the center of mass is located 0.99 meters from the front end. So this is the front end of my car um, because I want to change the front tires. So actually, it's not just floating in the air, but I've got to have um, I've got to have my jack sitting here somehow holding up the car. Okay, so there's my jack. So the center of mass of the car is located 0.99 meters right here, away from the front of the car. The rear wheels are 0.28 meters from the back end. So this is going to be 0.28, um, 0.28 meters is going to be this distance. The torque exerted by the car around the back wheels. So I want the torque exerted by the car around the back wheels. That's going to be really, if I've got my force of gravity, that's what I'm interested in here. What is the torque from this force of gravity around the back wheels? So that torque, let's see, is going to be R, F, sine, theta. What's my R with all of these weird measurements? Well, the car is 4.22 meters long. Um, what I'm really interested in is the distance from the back wheels to the center of the car. So if this is 4.22, then I know that my R it's going to be the length of the car minus the distance to the back wheels, also minus the distance to the front wheels. Oops, that shouldn't be that. Um, we'll also say minus 0 0.99. So that is my R. It's all of this. So it's really, I'm looking for this distance here is my radius because that's how far away the back is from the center of gravity of the car, the center of mass of the car. My force is going to be the force of gravity, so that's going to be 1036 times 9.81. And then my theta is going to be this angle here. Now this angle here, if that's 5 degrees, this is going to be the rest of that uh, from 90. So that's going to be the sine of 85 degrees. Wow, what a complicated question just to get to that. So now, this is my total distance from the pivot point. This is my force, and this is my sine theta.